Hi, so this is going to be a video um, on how to do text formatting, which is a graphic design skills assignment um, right here under your student tools in my assignments, Oops, my assignments. Um, we've already gone over this in class, but this is just so you guys can follow at home. If you read the assignment, uh, you can see the objectives and all the different um, topics that it covers and teaches you how to do. Um, you're going to need to download these four files and follow the markups in the files, use the text from the files, and um, match the final, which is also one of the files. I downloaded them right here. I will show you. Um, this is um, the original that you would like you, you're going to match you're going to match this exactly by following this markup for the text and this markup for the uh, text boxes and the display uh, headline text so um, this is the actual text that you're going to be formatting and you're going to be doing this in InDesign so we'll go to InDesign set up a new document eight and a half by eleven Say OK. Just very basic here. Um, if your ruler units are not in inches, if you can, if you remember, you have to go to preferences, units and increments, and change your unit rules to um, your rule units to um, inches. I already had had already done this. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to try to split the screen here so you can see both the markup and the text. It's a little bit smaller and now we can see both. When you're doing this at home what I recommend is that you print this out and so you can check off with a pen everything that you've already done so you can keep track of what is already done and what is still needs to be done. The first step here is to figure out what text boxes you need. Um, when we work in InDesign, everything is in boxes. Pictures are in picture boxes, text is in text boxes, so you can't really put in text until you have a text box to put it into. Um, there's many ways of setting up the text boxes, but I will show you one that will work. You go to InDesign and you take a box. You set it up, you pull out a box. Now this box right here is not the right size. It's not this box. So to make it this box, you have to look at the specifications for the box and make sure your box is selected with the selection tool. Go in here into your control panel and put in the exact parameters specified in the markup, which would be 1.3 for the X coordinate, 0.5 for the y coordinate, and uh, 3.5 and 2.5 for the, for the actual size of the box, which puts the box in approximately the right place. You, I mean, actually, it should be in the exactly right place, but you can see that, you know, it's a reasonable match. The second text box happens exactly the same way. Uh, I'll show you a different second way to make a text box. Oops. You double click and it gives you a box where you can actually enter the size of the text box 5.5 by 7 um, and then you can put in the origin um, the x and y coordinates for the box and that would be 1.8 3.18. Hit return, box pops right into place. Um, the next thing you need to notice about this box is it's two columns. So you have to actually go and find the column setting in your box. For that, you need to be in a type tool. So when you go into the text tool, you have to click on the box to make it a text box. So now it's a text box, the cursor is blinking in there and you have all the text options come up here. 
It's really important to understand that text formatting in InDesign is broken into two categories. Most uh, professional typesetting tools are. Um, there's the character level formatting and the paragraph level formatting. The character level formatting will, will be um, for anything where you highlight the text and you specifically change the characters that are highlighted. For the paragraph level formatting, it's anything where you are, are in the paragraph and anything that you do will change the paragraph. There is some overlap. If you see, you go into character formatting, you have justification here. You go into paragraph level formatting, the justification is here, but slightly in a different place. Depending on the work plate, workspace you use, um, all these options are available, but the placement where you can find them in the palette may be a little bit different. So um, there's different workspaces you can set up in most Adobe softwares. This is Essentials. It should, um, as you bring up different tools, it'll bring up different uh, kinds of options up here. Um, but you can also be in typography since you're specifically working with typesetting and it'll give you a different set of tools for working with typography. Um, and everything up here in the text uh, control panel will be in slightly different places. But right now, I would stick to essentials. It's enough for what we're doing. OK, so all that being said, um, in paragraph level formatting, you're in the text tool in this box, right? Um, you can set up two columns, just like the box specifies. And you can see the specification is also for 0.1667 gutter. That's the default gutter, but this is where you would set it. It should just default to that. But if it doesn't, uh, just put those numbers in. OK. The next thing after you put in the text boxes is to put in the text. You have the document, the text document here. You can just uh, copy and paste it in the first box. So with the text tool, you click here into the box. Once the cursor is blinking in there, it's a text box. Command V uh, or um, edit, paste, which we we'll paste, um, gets the text in. Now, here's some really important things about that. Do you see this little red, red dot here? That means that you have text that's hidden inside the box. The box is too small for all of your text. So as it's cutting off the text, there's extra text outside of the box. And you have to always pay attention to that because if you lose text in a text box, you might be cutting off important copy. Something that is not in your markup, this is not in any of the uh, markup here, is um, something called text threading. Text threading, you can um, text threads, you can look up in your help files. Um, but basically, it means that the boxes would be connected. You click with your black arrow with your selection tools on this little red um, X or this little box here. And you see that there's text floating next to your cursor. Now, if I go over here, you can see there's, I can click here and all this text will pop up and it'll be in its own box. It'll just kind of like take up the rest of the page. I'm undoing it, Command Z, um, because I don't want to do that. So you can see the difference. If I roll over a text box that already exists, there's a link on my cursor that appears. That means this text is going to go into this box that I'm hovering over. And when I click the box above, in this box, they will be linked. Ta-da! So if I go into my text tool and I click anywhere in the text and I go Command A, select all, um, I will see, I see that the boxes are connected and all the text is selecting as if it's in one box. I'm hitting Command for my, to bring up my uh, selection tool and clicking to deselect. So how do I know that these boxes are connected besides actually having to go and click and select the text? Um, so what I can do to see this is I can go 
under view extras it's a little bit hidden and uh, under view extras show text threads view extras show text threads when I do this and then when I click on the box I select the box with my selection tool I can see that the boxes are visually connected. I can see that as part of my um, normal view preview options. So you should have that on so you can be aware of what boxes are connected. It's a very useful device to be able to work across several boxes for placement but still keep your stream of text um, connected and easily editable. So I'm going to stop this video here and record more in the next video so you can get this far. And then after you get to this point, then you will go on to the next video and we will address how to get all this information from the markup um, into your InDesign document and have it apply to the text. So it's starting to look more like the final uh, product that you would like to have.